Hi, my name's Callan Thompson. I work for the Northern Territory Government and we're going to talk about spray technology. There are a selection of different nozzles available on the market. These provide various droplet sizes suitable for a range of environmental conditions, purposes and products. The nozzles you use will depend on the product label and current environmental conditions. First we'll have a quick look at the nozzles in use on this spray rig. So I'm not going to be wearing any PPE because there's nothing in here that's going to hurt me. But if you're doing any of this sort of stuff in a normal situation, you should be wearing your appropriate PE for whatever product that's in there. We've got some different nozzles on this boom. Here we've got some of the um, little XR, the flat fans are the ones I said have a fair bit of drift. Um, these are a, a turbo T-jet, or I'll start at one bar so they'll be producing course. And these are an air induction nozzle. If we look at the output from one bar, there is a fair bit of drift coming off the fine droplets from the XR. For the other coarser nozzles, there is much less fines or drift coming off. When we increase the pressure to two and a half bars, there is a lot more drift from the XR nozzle. The turbo T-Jet has changed droplet size to a medium coarse with a little bit of drift. The air induction is still putting out a coarse droplet. It is important to check your nozzles to make sure they are putting out the right amount of spray. This is preferably done when you don't have chemical in the rig, so use water if you can. Looking at the spray chart relevant to the nozzles you are using, check the nozzle type against the pressure to find the capacity of the nozzles in litres per minute. Then using a chemical jug, measure the output for one minute. Next we'll wander out into the paddock and place out some water sensitive papers on the crop and our potential target. We'll have a look at how well these different nozzles are working in terms of coverage. To do this, place out water sensitive paper both on the front and back of the crop, as well as on the ground. This is dependent on the target. For example, if the target is the weeds at the bottom of the sorghum, you don't need to know what is hitting the sorghum leaves. Do a test run at the speed and pressure you would normally use for these conditions. Once you have run a test run, find your papers and check them front and back for coverage. The droplets sharp clearly against the paper, but there are apps such as SnapCard that you can use to determine how effective your coverage is. So before you spray your next crop, check the coverage and the nozzle output first. Don't forget to use the proper PPE for your equipment and spray to the weather conditions.